Hey, what's up guys, it's Joe. I've got a great five minute abs routine for you today. It's gonna really light up those abs and focus on that core. So we've got five exercises, and we're gonna do 45 seconds per X, 15 second rest in between. And the first one is gonna be an arrow crunch. So follow along with me at home, let's do it. Okay, on this first exercise, put your hands together in prayer position. You're gonna crunch up with your hands to the right side of your right leg, then down, then up into the middle, and then to the left side, and then middle, and repeat. All right, 45 seconds, two, one, let's go. So use your breath to help you. So with this one, we're only coming up half the way, right? That means that we're keeping the time under tension in the core. It's like a typical crunch, but we're adding a little bit of rotation as well. Try to keep your feet firmly on the ground. I'm telling you, this routine is really good, but it's going to make those abs bite. We've got 10 seconds left. Three, two, one. Nice. Okay, second exercise. This is the sore. Okay, we're gonna move the legs away from the midline of the body here. So we go knees in and then fully extend at 45 degrees, then bring them back in. Keep pushing your lower back to the ground. Ready, two, one, let's go. So we're keeping that lower back to the floor. Shoulders come up, head comes up. If your head gets heavy, then you can just put your hands behind the head to support it. We don't wanna rush this one, okay? Keep pushing the lower back down so we've got contact with the floor and keep that movement controlled. Just like a saw, nice and smooth. Woo. Feel those abs already, right? Ah. This workout routine is a really good thing to do at the end of one of your workouts, just to finish off those abs. Three, two, one. Nice, right, we're gonna go into a standard plank here. So face down, elbows under the shoulders, feet firmly on the floor, and tighten up that core. Three, two, one, let's go. Okay, keep that butt squeezed, keep those abs tight. Breathe deep, in through the nose, out through the mouth. Try to draw your belly button up towards the spine. So we're keeping everything tight in your middle, like a belt around your body. Plank is really good exercise for strengthening your core. A strong core is what every cricketer needs because of all those dynamic, powerful movements that you're gonna do during a cricket game. Five, four, three, two, one. All right, good hustle, good hustle. So we're next into the pulse. So face up again. This is a cool one, if you haven't done this before. So again, push the lower back to the floor, arms by the side of the body, and you wanna beat those arms like you're paddling in water. Three, two, one, let's go. Beat, beat, beat. Now, at some stage, I'm gonna ask you to try to kick those legs out to 45 degrees, and that will make it just a little bit harder, if you can. But let's focus on the breath first. Breathe in for five beats. Out for five. In for five. Out for five. Keep pushing the lower back down. Ready, legs out. Woo! Three, two, one. <laughs> yeah, baby. Okay, into the last X. Let me just check what it is. Okay, bicycle crunch. So, down again. This time, what we're gonna do is we're gonna try to reach elbow to the knee and slow and control, just alternate from one side to the other. Really try to lift that shoulder off the floor. Two, one, let's go. So this is the last exercise in the five. So again, it's a crunch with the rotation but we've also got that leg extension, so it's putting all of these elements together into this final exercise. 
Nice and smooth. You don't want to rush ab work. You want to keep it smooth. Into the final 10 seconds. Four, three, two, one, rest. All right, I hope you like that workout. That's a great thing to do to add to one of your other workout routines. If you like it, hit that like button and subscribe to Fitness for Cricket if you're new, and I'll see you in the next video.